guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Adi. for those of you that are just watching this video for the first time you guys are so welcome and you guys can also take your time to watch all other videos and also subscribe to my channel and leave a comment so this is actually a review of the new selena gomez uh, makeup line i really wanted to review this like properly like do a proper review and i hope by the end of this video i'm actually doing it you know it right i just went to the store and i actually just got my shade uh concealers just you know pretty stuff that you can actually use for a full um glam for full makeup and i got this from sephora and thanks to jennifer from sephora if she's watching this video thank you so much she was really helpful because you know at this time you cannot test you know some products out so she was just able to like help me out the best way and let's just get right into the video and as i do that i'll be telling you about this product so guys um just in case you're wondering i use the life tinter to color correct and right now i'm just gonna go in and just use the primer the eliminated primer this is the this is the way it is um it is uh always an optimist illuminating primer it is considered to be a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls oh i love pearls for a lit from within glow like glow <laughs> Wow, hmm. like all the products I'm using, everything I'm using, I've not used, I've not tried any of this. This is my first time. I love the texture of the um, primer. I love the fact that, you know, an extra plus that it has um, something like a glow, just to like, you know, make you feel sexy. You feel me? <laughs> I just feel like glow just having something that has a glow or something just you know kind of just makes me feel good so this is the way it is it's not drying at all it is um gel just like almost like the um the hydro grip primer something like that so that's just the way it is when you rub it in it's not leaving any cast or not bringing out any product or whatsoever um yeah it's not sticky sticky it's just right there and this is the closest to um my shade and at first i was really skeptical about getting this um product because i mean i'm not really a fan of i'm a fan of selena gomez like i listen to her songs and all those things but i'm not like a crazy fan and i really wanted to make sure that um she um our products like add lots of shades for like you know deep dark skin girls if you get what i'm saying and because right now we are really really fight not fighting but like we are really trying to make a change be inclusive as you know dark skin girls and at first i was like mm, does she have lots of, like we there be lots of shades for like you know dark skin girls and when i went on to the website i realized that you know it actually had lots of shade you know compared to some brands i don't have up to that so I, that really got me excited i really just wanted to get a foundation that actually ma that will match my face because as you guys can tell i my chest is lighter than my neck and my face so i'm trying like i just wanted to get a foundation that will match just my face and i'll use a concealer to just blend everything i'm gonna, I'm gonna mix this because i realize when you open it it actually brings out some kind of oil and you know mess up the old bottom so just put it out there you mix this so okay so the foundation says it is um it is a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow so um probably like natural you know finish but you can build it up depending on the coverage you're looking for i don't know and because we're about to try it out Let's see. Uh, mm. Um, blend this out because I feel like doing blend this for my like forehead. I feel like when I do this, it just gives me like a little bit of confidence, and I just pat that in. Mm. This is. I don't know 
of this is my shade like but then we're gonna work with this because i just we're not we're not able to like you know test it out in the store and i just wanted something that would match my face so let's just see how this you know it just this is just the beginning <laughs> it's kind of blending well in my airline so maybe that's something good and i'm just trying to like avoid my under this way right here So I hope this is gonna like help those of you that um, dark skin girls actually have like a similar similar shade to mine to see like you could go higher you can go like um, two shades darker two shades lighter or whatever or use this one but I hope this helps to know your foundation just because you don't have that time to like you know just test out or you you want to get it but then like you can't test it out you know? it doesn't feel like I'm putting on any foundation like it doesn't feel like it I really wanted something that will blend like just my face then I can like conceal whatever and like then make it all you know look uniform if you get what I'm saying but I love this like I love the finish it just doesn't look like I'm having any foundation on it so right now I'm gonna use the um, the concealer I just hope I really did well with the concealer and you know picked a good shade so right now the concealer is this is a shade 500 N and I it is a moisturizing buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable cake free coverage so meaning that um, you can whatever cover you want if it's something soft you can build it if, I mean you're good to go if it's uh, heavy if you want like you can add extra layer first one second one to just give it the perfect coverage that you want mm. Uh, let me see well the concealer mm, it's not really like my sh let me let me let me not say something let me just first of all blend it out first before i start yanning dust okay so the concealer actually melts into my skin on my chest i don't know if you guys can see on my chest just melts in so i guess this is good so i'm gonna just do this um and just start off first underneath right there and the other part just right there let's do that first let's just blend first and i just put it in okay this is not bad mm. Well, well, well. The concealer is not heavy. It feels light, just like the foundation. Like it feels. It doesn't feel like you're putting on any concealer. Um. So if you want to really like bring out your under eyes, like you want to lift them up, I'm guessing you would have to go for like a second layer. And. So right now, this concealer is not for my girls that, you know, want something very heavy at just one go. Like, you want something heavy, but like, you don't want to like add another layer. So this is not for you. I'm going to go in and like use a second layer and just bring it down there. And I'm going to like, after doing this, I'm just going to like distribute it evenly. Just make it that just do that do that so i want to test something out so you know the way the cover girl true bed concealer when you leave it and for like a few minutes it kind of dries up i'm gonna do that right now i'm just gonna leave it let it just like set in then i'm gonna contour using the fancy um the fancy cream contour so I just what I just do is I just do this and just right now I'm done with contouring and um this is not I don't think this is dry yet it's still there so of course it's just 
there. I mean, it will just blend. I want to try to just not use any concealer or whatever any other thing to just see like just set and just see how um you know how this goes because i don't know if it's giving me like the lift i want so i would say this is for like you want something natural something light or soft you don't want it to be you don't want something heavy like that some makeup or foundations or concealers that you use and you can actually you know that there's something on your face like you know that there is something there but this really doesn't feel like it so right now i'll just go and use the sephora uh, so i'll just use a sephora um micro smooth powder and just you know set that right there I'm gonna use the uh, uh, Dema Blend um, setting powder to just set and just do this. the prime beauty bronzer bronzer and just swipe you know actually another one another um, product I got from Red Beauty um, I tend to go soft on the eyes and um, I'm using the lip soft matte lip cream and this is a, a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish but before we go into this let me finish up the eyes just like use um, lashes and just you know be done with the eyes it's done and i'll just finish up the look and let's just dust this off so i'm gonna use uh, my eyeliner from milani and just tap 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 Use a spread setting spray. This is out already, but just gotta use what we gotta use. So right now, I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty Lip Suffol Matte Lip Cream um, Inspire, and I think this is one that she used. And this is I love this. I love. It's just so soft. The, I'm talking about the container. It's just soft. So just do this. I'm not using any lip liner for this. Mm. You know, it's kind of very soft and one layer is probably not enough for you to get the coverage that you want. So if you just wanted something to just like a little color, just something um, like a soft color on the lip then you can just use one layer then use like a gloss on it whatever but like if you want it that this is a color you want you have to you know put more And 
and just keep putting it I love the finish of this like it looks like it's of course a velvety um, finish but like it looks like your, your, your lips are on foam <laughs> this is nice and this is the finished look this is the way it looks I love the lip color I love this so much I love the feel it feels so soft on the lip of course it's like a velvety a velvety finish of course but it's just very very soft and I mean at the end of the day you just really have to walk your way around it because right now we are not testing foundation and I didn't get all of the products so I just had to like go with my instinct and just try to like you know okay, this might go for me this might be my shade so when it comes to your shade you just have to I don't know like just go with your instinct and try and just compare like with the other foundations you're using and just try and pick you know a, not a perfect shade but like something close so and also I just had to like make it work and um, the lipstick check I love it the foundation oh I love it it's just that if you are going out and you're gonna be using a mask I will not I will not suggest you use that kind of foundation because it's like uh, it just makes it look like you're not putting on anything but like when you touch your face it's not like it's not mad it's not drying so um, you just have to probably you just put foundation all over here and just keep this part here but like if you're using a mask ugh, you're just coming on messed up like it's just gonna be messed up that's that then the foundation is the concealer is mm, I mean it's not really heavy so you have to like just layer it you have to keep like until you get the coverage you want because for a week I mean for someone like me I had to like just use like two um, layers to um, you know get my to get that coverage that I wanted for my under eyes and you know just walk my way around it and um but the texture the finish it's so nice it's just that it's not full coverage enough for people that like with under eyes with dark circles and all of this stuff so um that's that then the primer the illuminating primer is very very nice like i love it i love the fact that it, you know glow a gel primer oh check now it has a glow oh my god double check you feel me like something that would just you know instead of using like a stroke cream then using a primer it's just one like two in one so you just get like you know and the most important thing is that this is actually i mean it's on it's in the middle like it's not expensive like 40 dollars 39 dollars and it's not cheap like the maybelline the l'oreal foundation kind of kind of price it's just in the middle twenty dollars twenty nine dollars which is really not bad to really talk about i mean to really be honest it's really not bad ex i mean com it's it's really not bad i mean when you look at it with the quantity of this so um i love this this is gonna be like a, a must in my makeup i hope you guys are able to get a little bit of information from this i really wanted to do this the right way because um you know this is like a first time kind of like a first time i've been doing like a review like reviewing a product and i wanted to do it right like i just don't want to put anything out there i wanted to actually do and get it right i mean i might not get it like 100 percent, but like i know i did this like i mean you guys can also tell like or you judge put it in the comments judge, let me know so <laughs> so i hope um this was really helpful and giving like was i was able to give you the information you guys might want before getting the product maybe you're trying to you're thinking of trying to get the product i hope this might help i was really i really wanted to, to like watch other people's videos but i just was like no you know what i don't want to be biased i don't want to listen to anybody i just want to like you know do this first let me know how it is so that i can put out honest review and also to also be sure that this actually um we are included we dark skin girls we are included in this um in the shades like in the in the products we are not like it's not like oh there's just two three shades for us no we have more shades on you know on there so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave comments i'll see you guys later bye